What's up gang? So we're just going to go over your standards for your movements, uh, just for your workout 21.3. Starting off with a row, obviously Matthew's just going to start rowing there, and you can work away. So just on your rower, obviously just pretty technique wise, there's no standard, just big long strokes on your rower, and look and try to get your calories. The major point here is you just stay on your rower up until you see the 60 calories on the screen, you can't get off that early. So make sure you stay there until you see your 60 calories. From there, then you're going to be moving over towards your rig. Now the room will be set up for you. You have a certain distance away from the rig. And when you come over now, uh, or exit, you're going to close the bar. Uh, Matthew's going to give us two good repetitions. He breaks the plane behind him and he pushes the bar on the top. All right? A no rep will be that when he comes down, his legs don't get behind the rig, all right? or he doesn't touch the top. So we must break the plane and the barbell behind us and physically make contact on the top. All right? For your scaled option, for your knee raise, uh, kind of the same parameters. We must get the legs behind the plane of that barbell, and the knee must pass the height of the hip. Again, your no reps will be, you don't get your legs back behind you, or you don't break your hip uh, on the height of your knees. All right, so make sure we're looking for those standards. If you get through that, guys, you're gonna be moving to your wall balls. All right, blatantly, guys, we all should know our wall ball targets. Last top of the black leg is the bottom. You must hit the top, all right, and break parallel on every single repetition. Your no reps will be you don't hit your bottom. So I'd say Matthew doesn't hit his bottom, he's blading high, or he doesn't hit the top of that target. All right? um, and don't be afraid to call people out and give them accurate guidance as we go through it. Once you finish your wall balls, you're going to be moving over or back towards your barbell, and your barbell will be on this side of the room. Uh, power cleans, barbell starts on the floor, and we're going to jump that up to a front rack position and stand to full extension. All right, here's one more good one, Matthew. No reps, is we catch it, but we don't stand to full extension. So he doesn't stand all the way to the barbell, or he doesn't get his elbows in front of the barbell. So here's one, the elbows are not getting in front. So we must make sure we elbows in front and we stand to full extension. Again, tie break time after that, so do have a good push for it. Uh, now, as we come over, guys, at the back end of the workout, we do have our uh, rings. So uh, first thing is we must start at full extension of our arms, so completely in that bottom dead hang. To a good lockout on the top. So I'm only going to ask Matthew to do one, so make sure we're looking. Uh, he's going to have full extension on the bottom, get himself all the way up, and he locks out at the top of that movement. Things that are going to be in no repetition is you're going to start off with a bent arm, so you don't start with full extension, all right? And then if he does get to the top, all right, we get up there, Chewy, he'll be in strong, but he's not locking out that elbow, so we must look for those two parameters as we do that, all right? Obviously, hard movement, give it a good push when you get there. We're going for our chin over bar pull-ups. It's kind of the same parameters. We must start with our elbows straight, or our elbows at full extension, to then physically get in that chin up and clear that bar. Right, and no rep will be starting off with a bent arm and jumping up halfway into it, no rep. Or if we do start at full extension and we don't get that chin over the bar on the top, a good swing, and we just miss it. All right, so you really have to think about that big, big swing. And someone was asking already, yes, you can jump up into it, we just make sure we hit the parameters of full extension and chin over the bar. And coaches will be going over this tomorrow, which is just make sure you have uh, an idea of your standards, of your movements, because it's making it easier for you to go through it. Guys, right, best of luck.